What's up everybody, my name is Hadlin the Hypnotist. Thank you for tuning in to this episode. Now we are going to dive into one of my shows. It's back in 2017, I found it in my archives here and I haven't posted it yet. And I know, I know my subscribers, a lot of you guys are here for those full length shows. Now unfortunately, it's not technically full length. It starts about 10 minutes in and the last five minutes are cut off. I don't know what to tell you. I don't have the footage, just it stopped recording. Well, let's get to it though. Feel it, the cool, cool air coming through the windshield, the window, good, as it, temperature drops. Okay, let me see your hands from all sit back in your chair, feet flat on the floor. Okay, let's see. Right. Temperature's dropping quite rapidly, the sun is about to set. Whew. 15 degrees, 14. You know what, you probably should have just opened the door. It's got down to five degrees. The sun is gone, the sun is set completely. Whew. Zero. You can see some snowflakes. What is going on? I guess it's Saskatchewan. Oh, minus five. Minus, ooh, minus eight. Ooh, minus 10, minus 15. Oh my goodness, it is so cold right now. Ooh, minus 25 degrees. Ooh, you don't even have a jacket right now. Well, oh, who's that? Your friend is here. You're all now back to room temperature in the comforts of your friend's vehicle. Oh yeah. Back to room temperature. <sighs> much better, much better. All right, everybody up on stage. You guys are doing such a great job. Let's, let's hear it from, give it up for your volunteers. Now everybody up on stage. Everybody up on stage. Again, your eyes. Okay, how's it going? Take a look at the back wall, focus on one spot. As you focus on that spot, take a deep breath. Close your eyes and sleep. You can go back, Jesse. When I touch you on the shoulder, relaxation doubles. Everybody up on stage, you guys are doing such a great job so far. Now everybody, when you open your eyes next, when you open your eyes next, you'll know that every single time I say the word sleep, snap my fingers or shake your hand, it instantly brings you that back to this very relaxed state of mind. Not your head if you understand. Good. Now you keep your eyes closed until I get you to open them. But everybody up on stage, you are all now Fish, swimming in the fishbowl. One, two, and three. Swimming, 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 yeah, yeah, get it, get it, get it, get it. Yeah, there you go, there you go. And see. Very good. Give it up for your volunteers. These guys are doing amazing. All right, 
And then on the count of three again, one, two, and three. Swimming, 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 swimming. Eat the food, 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 up, 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 eat the food, 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 eat the food. Good, good, good. And there's a shark coming. Dun, dun. Get small, get small, get small. Dun, dun. Get small, get real small. Dun, 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 dun. And he's gone. Swimming, 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 swimming. Eat the food, eat the food, eat the food, eat the food, eat the food. Get the food, get the food, get. The food, get, the food, get, the food, get the dun, dun. Get small. Dun, dun. sure on you. Whoever is with him, if he's at his seat, he may or may not. You know. Everybody up on stage. One, two, and eyes open wide awake. You are no longer fish. Look at my hand. Take a deep breath. And sleep. All right, everybody up on stage. Everybody up on stage. In a moment when you open your eyes next, when you open your eyes next, you are all gonna be world famous alien rappers. Nod your heads if you understand. You're gonna feel the beat. You are all now alien rappers. One, two, eyes open, wide awake. Feel the beat. Alien rappers. Hmm. Yep. Yep. All right. You look ready. You look ready. Let's hear it. Okay, okay. Think about your lines a bit more. This is Sunday, I go Monday. Oh, yeah. Take a look at my hand and sleep. Still feeling the beat. Hey, how's it going? When you open your eyes, you are all alien rappers. You only speak and rap in alien. Nod your heads if you understand. One, two, eyes open wide awake. Yeah. Can you feel the beat? Alright, who's ready? Who's ready? You ready? Come up here. Yeah. Alright, who's next? Who's next? You're looking at me like you're, you're ready. Come up here. Yo, ba 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 Zip, more? <laughs> yeah, give it up, everybody, for your alien rappers. <laughs> yeah. All right, let's, uh, you guys can all just move your chairs up. Align them with each other. Yeah, right there is good. Yeah. Make sure all together. Nice and tight. Right in there. Close the gap. Yeah. Sleep. Push your heart, take a deep breath, sleep. 
Look at me. I won't even say anything. <laughs> Something special for you. Sleep dust. Bring up your volunteers, ladies and gentlemen. On stage, everybody up on stage. The person I'm touching right now, the person I'm touching right now, you only speak and understand an alien language to yourself, whether that be anywhere in the world or other worlds. Nod your heads if you're Nod your head if you understand, just you. You are an alien. The person I'm touching right now, you speak and understand alien. You actually took school learning how to translate alien. And if for some reason that there's an alien in our midst, you will be very adamant about letting us know that you can understand that alien. Nod your head if you understand. The person I'm touching right now, every time I shake your hand, every time I shake your hand, it will feel like someone just yelled your name from behind you. Nod your head if you understand. When I shake your hand, someone yells your name from behind you. Person I'm touching right now, every time I shake your hand, you get an extreme urge to go number one. You will not, you will not, it's only an urge. It's kind of strong and you kind of, kind of need to be excused right now, not sure if you understand. Good. First I'm touching right now. Your glasses are x-ray glasses. I'm not trying to understand. I think she got it too. She got it right. First I'm touching right now. You have the hat of invisibility. The cowboy hat of invisibility. Nobody on stage will be able to see you. Nod your head if you understand. Good. Just for good measure. The person I'm touching right now, right now, your eyes are not x-ray glasses. Your glasses, rather, are not x-ray glasses. Your feet, would you place them flat on the floor? Your feet are now glued to the ground. Almost as if we took your feet and grew roots from your feet into the soil. And the harder you try to move your feet, the harder it becomes. Your feet are stuck to the ground, stuck tight. Nod your head if you understand. Good. Now everybody up on stage. One, two, and eyes open wide awake, eyes open wide awake. All right, ladies and gentlemen, these guys have been doing such a great job so far. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go through, we're gonna meet all of our volunteers. So, we'll start right here. What's up, man? Mm, good. good. What's your name? Uh, Curtis. Curtis, thank you so much, Curtis, for coming up here. A pleasure having you up. Ooh. What's up? Nothing. Okay. All right. It's, it's really just Curtis, right? It's really a pleasure having you up here. Let's go on the side here. How's it going, my man? Good. What's your name? Paul. Paul? Thank you so much. Nice to meet you first off, and thank you. <laughs> Did you hear that? It's like someone yelled Paul? No, no, definitely not me. No, it definitely couldn't be my poster. No. Well, anyways, Paul. Very nice to meet you. <laughs> 
There's a chair behind there. You want to check? There's no one there, right? Oh, yeah, check the curtain. Okay, just the mirror. Okay. Oh, strange. Well, if it happens again, let me know. Deal? I didn't hear it this time. Okay, you know what? We'll have someone deal with that in a moment here, okay? Hi, what's your name? Jill. Jill, nice to meet you, Jill. Thank you for coming up here. And... What's your name? Uh, Kyron. Uh, Kyron, awesome. Thank you so much for coming up here, Kyron. And, uh, actually, you know what? You guys can't see him, can you? Kyron, the guy that was just on the microphone, could you see him? Yeah, he's sitting right beside you. Here, Karen, stand up, go over here for a moment. Actually, right, right here, right here. Turn around, face these guys. Okay, I'm gonna prove it to you. Kyron is actually here, right in front of me. Actually, you know what? Stand right over here, Kyron, so everyone can see. Good, ready? This is not magic. I'm not making the. Microphone levitate. I'm gonna hand it to Kyron. Watch. Yeah, it, it's me, Kyron. Uh, er, stand, standing right here. <laughs> That's who Miguel Mani. Must have been. Must have been. <laughs> Maybe it was strings. You know, maybe, maybe I'm just doing a magic trick that was just strings or something, maybe magnets, mirrors, who knows, but there's no string that would allow this to levitate. <laughs> and, <laughs> check out, I can have it come this way, and I can have it come closer to you, and I can spin it while it does that. And then it will slowly, slowly go all the way back to the ground. And, and, everyone look this way, look this way. Look this way, ready? It's just, it's just Kyron. It's just Kyron the whole time. Wait, he's gone again, but that's okay. No, Kyron, you can have your seat again. Thank you so much, thank you so much. Give Kyron a round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. I swear it came from that side. Well, I did too, but I didn't. Until I said about the invisible guy, right? Yeah, right here. Take your hat off for a moment. Okay, okay. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> His mouth didn't move that time. We're gonna figure this out, man. We're gonna figure. You put your hat back on. And you know what? I'm gonna actually just turn off the invisibility option right there. Hi, what's your name? Beth. Beth, nice to meet you, Beth. Can you stand up for me? I'll help you stand up. What's wrong? My feet are stuck to the ground. Your feet are stuck? Try and move them. Yeah. Grab your, grab your leg with your hand and try to move your foot. It's stuck. And you know what, ladies and gentlemen? I know some of you are going to think maybe Maybe I pay these people to be my volunteers. That'd be expensive, by the way. It's not how it works. Maybe it's fake. Maybe they're faking it. If they are, then I've been faking it successfully for 11 years. But uh, I have my wallet, credit cards, cash. If you can grab it, you can have it. Bring it, next, bring it closer to you. And I'm gonna give you this card. Hold on to that card, now watch. 
When I snap my fingers, we're going to transfer the feeling of your feet being stuck to the ground to your fingers being stuck to the card. Just like that. So your feet are moving, but your hand is stuck to that card. Try to get it out of your hand. It doesn't come out of your hand. It's just, it's just stuck in that hand. Do you have pockets? Can you put it away in your pocket? Oh, but that wouldn't work. Your hand's miss. Yeah. Okay. I'll, I'll fix that in a bit. I'll fix that. But at least your feet move, right? Yeah. Hi. How's it going? What's your name? Michelle. Michelle? Nice to meet you, Michelle. How's it going? You're looking at you a little. <laughs> What's wrong? Uh, you're all bones. All bones? What about these guys in the audience? Well, you didn't look out there yet, did you? Everyone kind of looks the same when it's like this, though, right? It's pretty cool. what she just said? No. You understand what she said? Man, I, I really wish there was someone here that understand what she was saying. What's up? Sorry? She said you're weird and she's Oh, you understand? No, no. So what language is that? But you understand it? Yeah, it's been a long time learning about it. Oh. But they can't cool. teach anybody the name. That's the weird thing. I don't know the name. Oh, it's like a secret. Well, kind of. Interesting. Okay. So, okay. So, can you ask her to come to the front of the stage? Very secret of people, okay. Uh, can you ask her if she's on earth for war or peace? Now, if you can 
Pastor, please. If she's here for war or bad stuff, can she at least tell us why? Well, she's fine with being here. It's good to see you. <laughs> okay, okay. Now, if you can ask, just ask her to tell these people, I'll stay over here, to tell us her favorite story from her home. Yeah, yeah. To, to them. For one more thing, can I ask her to go back to her chair? <laughs> Give it up for your alien and alien translator, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> you really gotta tell him what's going on, man. It looks like you need to pee or something. No, I'm fine. You're fine? Yeah. Okay. You can hold it? Yeah. Is it weird that I know? How do you know? I don't know. I just, I, I just know these things. I just know these things. Here, I'm going to make that go away. Take a deep breath. So. Alright. You know what? She won't let me near her, so what we're going to use is the sleep gun. The sleep gun is loaded with sleep bullets. It doesn't hurt, but when I shoot our volunteers in any part of their body, they instantly go back into a trance. Check it out. <laughs> you are no longer an alien. In fact, I hear you not. Okay, no. On a scale of 1 to 10, I'm an 11. I wonder how to understand. Okay. Oh, there's a twofer. right now, 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 and now. In a moment, we're going to drop a screen in front of the audience. And on that screen, we're going to project the world's funniest movie. The funniest movie you've ever seen. And everyone else, first I'm touching now, now, and now, you are watching the world's scariest movie. And for everybody, when I count from three to one, when I hit one, it'll be that part of the movie, either the scariest or the funniest part of that movie. Nod your heads if you understand. Good. And one, two, eyes open wide awake. Let's drop the screen and hit play.
Okay, it's that, it's that, it's that part. One, two, and three. You know what? Let's we're gonna change the channel to sleep. All right, everybody up on stage. When you open your eyes next, you are all going to be watching the world's saddest movie together. The world's saddest movie. And when I go three to one, it'll be the saddest part of the movie. Nod your heads if you understand. And one, two, eyes open wide awake, and play. into a state of hypnosis gradually, but I would like to show you the instant version of this. And I'm actually gonna share it with the Sleep Boomerang. Have you guys seen Sleep Boomerang? I'm pretty good. And actually, if I throw it right here, it'll go over the audience, and it'll hit all of you at the same time, and you will stay in your chair, too. It's pretty cool, like you'll, it doesn't even hurt. Ready? The sleep boomerang. <laughs> yeah, give it up for your volunteers, ladies and gentlemen. They deserve as much applause as you can possibly give them. And in fact, the more you all applaud from this point forward, the better they will perform for you. So let's give it up. Let's give the biggest round of applause that you ever give them. <laughs> All right, the person I'm touching right now, and right now, and now. Whenever you see me scratch my forehead from this point forward, an invisible man from inside your hat spit on your face. Nod your head if you understand. Every time I scratch my forehead, a little man peeks out of your hat and spits on your face. Nod your head if you understand. Good. And the person I'm touching right now, 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 and now, every time I rub my chin, someone to your right or left just pinched your butt. <laughs> Not quite sure who it was, but it was somebody beside you, that's for sure. Nod your heads if you understand. Good, all right. And, one, two, eyes open, wide awake, eyes open, wide awake. It's uh, nice and straight. Hey, how's it going, everybody? <coughs> how's it going? You doing good? What's your name again? Megan. Megan? Let's see your hand again. <laughs> when you open your eyes next, on a scale of one to ten, I'm like a two. 
much how to finish that. It was like that already before the alien was in. <laughs> Let's see what happens. One, two, eyes open wide awake. Hey, let's go on. <laughs> What's your name again? None your business. <laughs> inside of your head. Ladies and gentlemen, it's really interesting. It's hey, I really need to figure something out, guys. I just don't understand. Like, okay, guys, we need to settle this. What's going on? You're not very cute. I'm pretty bored, so I'll pinch your butt. <laughs> so you admit to pinching the butt. Okay. So did you get both? No, just Michelle. Just Michelle? Did you figure out did you figure out what's going on? No, I have no clue why which one pinching my butt. It was him, wasn't it? Yes, I think it's him. Okay, stop, okay? Whatever you do, just stop. I'll try my best. Keep your hands in, keep, keep your hands in front of you. All right, so now you're sitting away. Okay, sit back, sit back. Put your hands in your pockets, guys. Jeez, we don't need any of this going on. Oh, man, I don't know what to do. So. What's that? She's gonna hit one of us. <laughs> so it wasn't you. So I saw your hand, his hands were in his pockets the whole time. Well, I was in his own butt now. <laughs> okay, now you, you saw his hands are there. Right? It's not him. Did you figure it out yet? It's gotta be her. Yeah, I think I'm in the mix now. <laughs> He has a girlfriend, and he touched my butt. What are you doing, man? I did not touch her butt. Liar. Liar. No. We're gonna call Janae. Yeah, no. We're calling Janae. Where's your phone? Don't touch my butt. All right, everybody, take a look at my hand. Sleep. Let's hear it again for your volunteers. They're doing awesome right now. Just the moment. Everybody up on stage, all suggestions that I've given you up until this point are now gone from your mind. Gone from your mind. 100% gone from your mind. I want you to sit up nice and straight in your chair. Straighten your chair, head forward. Head forward. Perfect. And just you, open your eyes. Hey, can you move back with the group? I don't think the. As soon as your butt hits the chair, sleep. Good. 
Now, everybody up on stage, everybody up on stage, I want you to imagine something that you'd like to change about yourself. Whether it's a, maybe you're a smoker, you want to quit smoking, maybe you want to exercise more, maybe you just want to make better choices, maybe you want to retain information better. Whatever it is that you'd like to change about yourself, I want you to think of this goal right now and lock it into your mind, front and center. Nothing else exists except for this goal. And I want you in your mind's eye to imagine a symbol. Whatever symbol your subconscious creates right now in the center of your vision is true to you. In the center of your vision, whatever symbol was just created by your subconscious mind is true to you. This symbol is now going to represent your current state of mind. So obviously, you're not at the goal that you want, otherwise you wouldn't have chosen this. So I want you to now imagine a future time, a future self, where you have changed your mind and you have accomplished the mindset that you really want to achieve. If you're a smoker, I'll just relate it. When someone wants to quit smoking, they're either a non-smoker or a smoker. That change happens in an instant. You either identify as a smoker or a non-smoker. I want you to imagine yourself being this new person in the mind. Obviously, if you wanted to play piano, you know, play like a symphony or something, this isn't a magic wand, suddenly you have some skill that you never had before. No, what it's gonna do is allow you to change your mind, change your direction on a day-to-day -day basis and allow you to get to that end goal quicker. Now, in your mind's eye, I want you to create a symbol that represents what it would be like to be at the goal mindset right now. Whatever, again, symbol your mind creates in this time is true to you. I want you to take the old symbol and the new symbol in your mind's eye, take the old one, leave it where it is, take the new one, raise it up above, visualize it and visualize it crashing down and destroying the old and replacing it with the new. So at this moment in time, I want you to now choose. Is that the direction that you're gonna go? Are you now a non-smoker or whatever it is that you chose? Just nod your head if you are. That is the choice that you just made just now. And I want you to now imagine yourself five years in the future continuing to be just like this the new state of mind. Nod your head if you understand. Nod your head if you're there, and nod your head one more time if you're okay with this. Good. Tonight when you go to bed, you're gonna have the best sleep you've had in months. You're actually gonna dream about the work that we just did in the last few minutes here. Every night that you go to sleep, the work that we've done is gonna drill into your mind deeper and deeper into the subconscious mind and install itself further. When you wake up in the morning, no matter what time you wake up, you will feel completely alive, refreshed, better than you felt. No matter what time you go to sleep, you'll wake up at the appropriate time that you need to wake up and head from your stand. If you drink tonight, you will not drive. In fact, no matter when from this point forward that you drink, you will never drive. Not your head from your stand. Good. And from this point forward, if you see me in public at any point in time, from now, forever, and you see me in public, unless you're driving, if you're driving, it will not work. But any other moment in time, if you see me and I look at you and I say sleep, you instantly go back to this very relaxed state of mind, nod your head if you understand. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm building an army, seven people at a time. They've just been added to the Hadlin army. Okay. Everybody up on stage, you guys are doing such a great job so far. And ladies and gentlemen of the audience, we have a few more things left for our volunteers. When they come out into the audience, they won't, they won't remember the show until they sit back down there and just so you know what's about to happen. Once they remember everything, just congratulate them and shake their hand, ask them what it felt like to be up here after they remember everything. In addition, what I've been doing 
is filming this from this GoPro, that camera back there. And what I'm going to do is put together a video, a download of this show. So volunteers, if you want a copy of this show, or anybody out here, if you'd like a copy of this show. Normally what I do at a show is I'll film it and I'll sell it to you and the money goes in my pocket. However, if you want a download of this, all I ask is that you pay 20 bucks, you give it to one of the members of the committee here, they will take your email, they'll send me the email, and then I'll send you the video. So 100% of the proceeds will go to raising funds for your So like I said, it is a download. If you guys want any other downloads, whether it's quit smoking, audio programs, losing weight, whatever it might be, I have lots. You can come after me after the show, I'll give you a card, we'll exchange cards. If you're on Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, Snapchat, Instagram, I'm on all of them. I create content for all of them individually. It's different stuff on everything. Follow me if you want. All I ask is that if you enjoyed what you saw today, that you just help spread the word and help me in enhance and grow my business in some way, shape, or form. That's all I ask. So I thank you in advance for whatever it is that you choose to do, whether it's spread the word or follow. But now, volunteers, everybody up on stage, in a moment, you're gonna open your eyes, and when you open your eyes, you are all going to be runway fashion show models. Runway fashion show models. And you are in a competition to be the next top fashion model. Nod your heads if you understand. Now, I'm not sure who it is, because all I have here is the sign-up sheet. But one of you is a veteran. This is your, like, tenth competition. You're an expert. You've taught most of the people up on stage. Another one of you, actually a couple of you are rookies. This is your first time. You haven't had any practice. You're kind of just trying in at a whim to see, you know, see what happens. Maybe, it's just, maybe your personality is good enough to be the winner. One of you, has won the last three years in a row, the reigning champ, going for a four-peat. Another one of you came in second place to that person, all four, all three years. Now, I'm gonna come through. We're gonna line up at the side of the stage. Once we figure out who you guys are, and nod your heads if you understand. One, two, and eyes open wide awake, eyes open wide awake. Hey, all right. So, you guys are here for the competition, right? Yeah, you guys have all signed up. I see your names on the list here. Um, okay, well, which one of you, let's see here. It's your first time. Who's, who's the rookies, the newbies? Three, three newbies? Okay. What, what brings you out? I'm beautiful. You're beautiful? Yeah, of course. So do you feel like that's enough to win this competition? Yeah, look at everyone else. <laughs> and you're a newbie? It's yeah. first time? Yeah. And why'd you come up today? Because I have a great personality and I thought this would be fun. Good. All right, all right. And you said you're brand new? Yeah. How much training have you had? None. Do you know what common competition this is? Yeah. All right. You're... Okay. All right. Let's see. Next on the list. Oh, the veteran. Where's the veteran? <laughs> All right. So, you've taught a few of these comp competitors. How do you feel that brings value? Like, how, how do you feel you have an upper hand now that you've taught most of these competitors? Their mistakes uh, make, make my progress. <laughs> all right, all right. Confident, confident. Okay. Next on the list. All right, who 
came second place last year? <laughs> second place. A little salty about that too, I see. Super salty. <laughs> Did you think it was like rigged or maybe a bad call? Like, what happened? Obviously, it is fixed. <laughs> fixed? Like the judges are against you? Obviously. <laughs> and oh, you lost the last three years in a row, wasn't it? Thanks for bringing that up. <laughs> what kind of training have you been doing to make sure that doesn't happen this year? I follow my mom. Is she here? No, but she walks real nice. <laughs> And see here. Who won last year? Oh, we're talking about uh, the top model search competitor last year. Which one did you win? Another one. I, I don't remember seeing your face at the other ones, but. Well, tell me about. Tell me about those competitions. Are they anything like this? No. This is much larger scale, isn't it? Okay. Alright, so you were the reigning champ last three years in a row? Three years running, okay. Tell us about what your training's been like and obviously. <laughs>
right, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed my show. Again, I'm sorry it cut off at the end there. My camera obviously died or something during that performance. It was a, a year and a half ago, so I don't quite remember fully what happened to it, but in any case, thank you for tuning in. Subscribe if you like this content. Like if you found some value. Maybe you laughed a little bit. I don't know. Hopefully you laughed a lot. My name is Hadlin, and I'll see you on the next video.